Hi, I'm Enchanting Nubianette. Welcome back. And to those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. A newborn baby was a victim of antifreeze poisoning by her father. The father, 50-year-old Curtis Jack, expressed to his baby's mother that he doesn't want to be a parent. Now in 2020, Curtis Jack and the mother met at work. I'm not sure of his profession or job role. However, he earns a decent pay and salary. The South Fulton, Georgia so-called father continuously said throughout the nine months that fatherhood is not what he wanted. He had no desire. Welcome back. New developments in the case of a father convicted of trying to murder his newborn daughter. He told police he put antifreeze in the child's milk because he did not want to pay child support. A judge sentenced that father to 50 years in prison. Children's Station Fernandez is live in South Fulton where she spoke to the lead detective in this case exclusively today. Taisha, this was a tough case for investigators and I know for you as well to cover today. It was tough for everybody. You know, many of the investigators, Karen, are parents themselves. You know, I'm a parent myself, so everyone has just been disgusted by this father's actions, especially because he appeared to have some remorse, confessed to police, but then took it back. Today, I had the privilege to talk to the child's mother. She's not ready to talk about the conviction just yet, but she did tell me the child is doing okay. It hit home because it was an 18-day-old baby. South Fulton Police Sergeant Serta Dickerson was the lead detective on this attempted murder case back in 2020. He said seeing this newborn poisoned by antifreeze was tough. With our job, we have to really um, tap into two different places. Uh, we have to do our job. We also have to be empathetic with the parent. Um, so it kind of hit home um, based off of us trying to figure out who done it and what the motives were. It all started when Curtis Jack got his co-worker pregnant. She told police Curtis tried to get her to terminate the pregnancy for the entire nine months. Once she had the baby, she had to stay in the hospital. So she told the father to come pick up breast milk from her and take it to the baby at the grandmother's house. Curtis told police he put antifreeze in the milk because he didn't want to pay child support. That could have killed that child. Yes. It didn't. But once Curtis was indicted and faced several charges, including attempted murder, he took back his confession. So detectives and the DA's office had to work even harder to make sure the case was solid and they got a conviction. It's beyond just getting a confession. We still have to prove that the person actually committed a crime. I mean, you still have to prove that the person is guilty. Detectives were so confused by the motive in this case because they said the father had a good paying job and the mother does too. I also want to mention this. Police say Curtis Jack was engaged to another woman no. at the time all this was happening. So that may have played a role uh, in this attempted murder. We're live in. For that role. The mom made the choice to keep the baby despite Curtis Jack's opposition to her pregnancy. Although she knew this information, she asked Curtis Jack to buy milk for the baby. Her hospital stay was longer than expected and she needed him to do an errand for her. Now this mother really did not know the true character of this man or she was in denial of his evil potential. Now before I continue, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. So she made arrangements for their baby to be cared for by her relatives, the grandmother. When her relatives fed the baby girl, there was a difference in her demeanor and awareness. All of a sudden, the poor, fragile, 18 day old baby was gravely sick. The physician tested the baby's blood and the lab test showed all the evidence. Now, surprisingly, this heartless so-called father admitted to putting antifreeze into the baby's milk. Why? because he did not want to pay child support. The engine coolant, as you all know, is extremely toxic to the body, especially the brain of a baby. Since the child ingested this fluid, even in small amounts, it can potentially cause severe damage. It's a miracle that the baby is alive and doing well. Now to all mothers and any mother who is pregnant, or who have a child with a man who doesn't desire to have a child. 
Just remember that your baby is your blessing from God. The man thinks of the child as a burden, a depletion of his finances. If the man isn't interested, do not force him. And to all mothers in this situation, since you want the child, make up your mind to be the full provider for the rest of the child or children's life. Do not rely on an individual who doesn't have love for the child. Now this newborn and any child who isn't genuinely loved by the parent will be in danger if that parent has to take care of him or her. So if you have child support from this man and he takes care of that child, you never know what happens. It's, it's not worth the, tra the trauma and the stress. And according to the doctors, the 18 year old baby girl appears to be in good health. And I hope that is the case as she develops. Surprisingly, Curtis Jack confessed his hideous crime to South Fulton Police Sergeant Dickerson, who stated in quotes, it's beyond getting a confession. We still have to prove someone committed a crime. You still have to prove that the person is guilty, end of quotes. In my opinion, it should be a shut, open shut case. But now Curtis Jack is indicted to face a multitude of charges, including attempted M. And reporters have said that Curtis Jack is in a relationship with another woman. Perhaps that is true, but there is absolutely no excuse of harming children in any shape or form. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a million and stay safe wherever you are.